Hi, this is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. And here we are in Lutz, Florida, hanging commercial wallpaper in a, uh, in a lounge to a home goods store. The reason I'm doing this video is to show uh, the homeowner or the do-it-yourselfer one of the ways in which you can roll glue on your wall coverings. Now, this is commercial grade wallpaper. Before I show you the way we're, we're gluing the paper, this is for 54 inch commercial goods. Some of your residential wallpaper is also 54 inch. So it's not necessarily uh, something peculiar to commercial uh, venues only anymore. Used to be, but uh, there's enough commercial goods now that's 54 inches. So how do you put the glue on such a wide piece of wallpaper? Well, you can, you can buy a pasting machine. You can get a used pasting machine for about $1,000. I have one of those. Um, but those are all susceptible to the moving parts and their uh, functionality. So, and, they're, and they're very heavy tools. So if you're alone, it's not a practical thing to use because you have to get that tool out of your truck and into the work site. Very heavy. So I chose not to do that. We have a small job today. We gotta put wallpaper on these walls. So now, how do you put the glue on your wallpaper? Well, if you don't have a pasting machine, you can simply do it the old-fashioned way. And that is to roll the paper on, to roll the paper with the glue, or use a pasting brush. Uh, wallpaper hangers, uh, particularly those in the UK, use brushes. And they're about 10 inches wide. But uh, they tend to take a lot of... Uh, uh, a, lot, a big toll on the wrist. So what we do is we use a roller. Now, this is what most of us are doing when we don't want to bring out the pasting machine and we're willing to spend the extra time that it takes. It does take a little extra time. If you have a pasting machine, you just pull the goods through the machine and the thing is glued, theoretically anyway, unless, it, unless your machine skips, in which case you just use your brush to put the glue on in the missing spots. But this is a very efficient way. Now, it's not just rolling the glue on. Do you notice the clamps at the end of the table? Those clamps are gonna keep your wallpaper down. I use that also in residential settings when I'm using 21 inch, 36 inch wall coverings. Because when you're rolling, just imagine him rolling this glue and then you don't have the paper secured to the table. What happens? It's gonna roll up and if you're using residential stuff, it's gonna rip. And so we keep the wall covering down with the clamps. I got these clamps in a, uh, in a uh, thrift store and it's got rubber. It's not going to scratch my wallpaper and I, I clamp it down. If I don't clamp it down, I need a guy to stand there and hold it down, which is ridiculous, obviously. So get yourself some clamps from Home Depot or Lowe's, clamp your wall covering down and roll away. Keep your, keep your, uh, your, your paste right near the job and then just put it on with a roller and you can generally roll this stuff out very quickly. So there's your tip. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. Maybe we'll show you how to do a couple of double cuts. If we wrinkle the wallpaper accidentally and uh, we put a crease in it, we'll show you how to get it out. It looks like magic. We use a little heat either by fire or a heat gun. And there you have it. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. Thanks for watching and please click and subscribe on my channel and hit the bell so you get all of our videos. Thank you.